Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting in the tiny house having my coffee with all of you. And today I have got to do something with my tomatoes, all the ones that are ripe, because I don't want them to get overripe, so I need to can them today. So I'm looking at recipes and I can't decide. Um, there's one stewed tomato recipe that I have this stuff for in my ball, my ball book, this one. <laughs> Anyhow, um... But I don't have enough pint size jars. Uh, they're all being used right now. I really wanted to do the pint size jars, but I do have a couple of quarts that I could just do it in quarts. So um, I had ordered some from Amazon. They were supposed to get here today. So, uh, but I got to get this going. So I'm going to get started. Uh, I'm looking at a couple more recipes. So I'll let you know later what I decided on. This little pot works great for peeling tomatoes. Just put the tomatoes down in boiling water, let them boil for 30, 60 seconds, take them out, and then just dip them into some cold water, and voila! I decided on the stewed tomato recipe. It's very versatile. You can put it in anything. Heck, I could even take a jar of it and make some salsa out of it later on. But I needed to get this done today, so here we go. I had actually filled two quart size jars, but then FedEx pulled up and delivered me my pint size jars, 12 of them. So I dumped the stuff back into the pot and I prepared these jars, got them all nice and washed and uh, heated up in water and whatnot. And then I filled them up and put them in the canner. So here we go. Got the heat turned on. Now I just need to wait for it to start steaming. There you go. You can't see it very well, but it is steaming pretty well. So I'm gonna let it go like this for 10 minutes. And then I get to go on to the next step. Put the little cappy do on. Ooh, that scared me a little bit. <laughs> and let it build up pressure. It's slow going, but it is starting to rise very slowly. There you go, up to 10 pounds pressure. I just need to monitor and keep it right at about that. I was able to keep it between 10 and 11 pounds pressure for 15 minutes, so that's great. Three, two, one. Turning the heat off, I gotta let the pressure go down to zero and then let that little thing go down too. So I just get to wait for it to drop in pressure to zero. The little thing on the lid has to go down and then I can remove the lid and let it sit for about five more minutes before I remove the jars. But I, I think everything went well. I really do, I think I did it right. Um, I'm hoping everything seals properly and if this all, went well and everything works and it seals and blah 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 it is going to increase my confidence so much in canning stuff because I've done plenty of water bath canning but this is the first time I've done an actual recipe in the pressure canner so if it works out you know what I'm going to be pressure canning like crazy I'm thinking about those rabbits out there right now. I don't know, though. I don't know if I can... I don't know about the rabbits. I don't... Oh, I do have to tell you one thing. Yes, uh, Papa Bunny, yeah, he finally... I caught him mating with one of the does, so I need to get out there and clean that out. I'm not going to do it today. I'm going to do it tomorrow. Uh, clean out their hutch, give them some fresh bedding, and um, make a little spot for somebody to have some babies in. Anyhow, so I'm just going to sit here and wait and uh, keep my fingers crossed and say a prayer that this all went well. It's down to zero. I've taken the little weight off. This is down, so now it's time to take off the lid. Well, everything looks okay. The jars are still kind of boiling down in there, uh, so I'm going to let them sit for a little bit longer. So, I don't know. I mean, I can kind of smell the aroma of the stewed tomatoes, so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Mm, it does smell good, though. But you know what? If I can't get a good seal on these, at least, you know, I've got a bunch of jars, I'll just refrigerate them. You know, that's just what I'm going to have to do. But... It looks like everything is good. Nothing is broken. I'm not seeing any of the stewed tomatoes down in the pot. So it's just a waiting game now. Well, you guys, they all came out just fine. None of them broke um, because I had them nice and hot before I even filled them. And I don't know if they're sealed. I mean, I just took them out of here. But I can tell that there's no 
I mean, none of the sauce boiled out in. There's a little bit, but that could have been, I mean, just like some specks, some little flecks. Could have been from the outside of the jars, I'm not sure. But it looks like I did it, you guys. So once I start hearing the pings, that will make me happy. What's in the dehydrator today? Well, some cherry tomatoes and there's some summer squash down in the bottom. I don't know if it's going to get done today, but as I always say, there's always tomorrow. Look at these two beautiful green bell pepper plants in these pots. Yeah, they look better than the other ones, so I don't think I'll mix up the veggies next year like I did this year. So hopefully I'll get some green peppers after all. What are these baby chicks up to? Look at there, there's Cleopatra. Right there. <laughs> Rocky three. That's Zuma Zoom. I don't know about the rest of them. Where's the Leghorn? Look at that one. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. There she is, cookies and cream. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna call her, cookies and cream. And I can just call her Cookie for short. What's up with you, Miss Roxy? She's been acting crazy lately, kind of almost like how Miss Pris acted when she was going broody, some of the sounds she makes. So I don't know. I've left the eggs in the nest. Put them all into the file cabinet just to see if somebody would get inspired, but so far no takers. What's up guys? My beautiful chickens. My gosh, look at the coloring on some of them. Oh my goodness, all of them. They're, they're all just different from one another. So I won't be able to check the jars until, well, 12 hours, and that's going to be in the middle of the night. So I'll just wait till tomorrow to check the seals. The um, lids look depressed. I didn't hear the pings, but I went outside for a little while, so maybe I just didn't hear it. But tomorrow I'll, I'll test them to make sure that they've all sealed nicely and uh, I'll show you. I'll show you in tomorrow's video. Anyhow, um, it's been a nice day today. It, it, I mean, it's warm, but it's not humid, so it doesn't feel like it's 100 degrees outside. It just feels like it's maybe 93 degrees outside. So I haven't ran the air conditioner yet today. Um, I'm going to try and avoid doing that unless I absolutely have to. Um, everything's going fine. The baby chicks are fine. They love their new yard. The rabbits are fine. Pop is fine. I'm beat. Yesterday kicked my behind. It did. Oh, I was going to try and cut up some more wood today, but I think I'm going to wait till tomorrow to try and cut up some more. Mr. Lucas has some over on his property that, um, he said I could cut up, uh, at least what my chainsaw can handle. He's got some wood over there that... Well, I'll show you in the next video. Uh, some of those logs are just absolutely huge. I don't know how anybody's going to get those cut up, but they'll figure it out. Anyhow, uh, nothing else going on, so we'll just keep this one short. I may lay down and take a nap here in a couple minutes. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.